Hey y'all, welcome to a very gloomy day here in Mississippi in my unrenovated bathroom, but I want to share with y'all today some healthy non-toxic swaps that we have made in this room over the last three years. It's been a slow process, but this is actually the room that I started in. We started transitioning to a healthier lifestyle, a non-toxic lifestyle actually when I became pregnant with my first son. So I just want to take y'all through everything in this room, in the bathroom that we have swapped over the last three years. But this was the first room we started. I did not swap all of these things at once. This was a very slow process so don't overwhelm yourself by all the things I'm going to share with you today. I hope you find this helpful today if you're on a journey to living a less toxic lifestyle and want to make some of these swaps. Let's first just talk the phrase non-toxic. We hear this thrown around all the time and some of you, if you're if you're kind of new to that lingo, you may be wondering, what does that even mean? I'm in my home. How is my home toxic? I can breathe just fine. My house is clean. It smells fine. It smells good. How is my home toxic? But what you may not realize is toxins are literally packed into everything these days, especially bathroom products, especially for women. So I'm going to walk you through a lot of those today. But you may not feel like your home is filled with toxins because you feel fine fine i say that in quotes you may not really be fine you may have lots of underlying conditions such as chronic headaches fatigue brain fog belly pooch if you're a woman you may have pms issues or menopause issues menopausal issues men and women may have low libido there's just so so many underlying conditions that can stem from a toxic overload on the body and those toxins when they're coming at us from 15 different products a day our body is just bombarded and it can't do its normal processes that it should when it's overloaded with toxins all the time this is also the reason for continued sicknesses continued allergies my husband's allergies improved so much we started eliminating a lot of these toxins out of our home there's just so many things that our society deems as normal that we feel like are just part of life that really are not normal but because of the toxic overload that our society has pushed upon us over the last years we feel like they're normal and we just live with those things but if you're wanting to live a healthier lifestyle this is my number one recommendation of the place to start is removing the toxins in your home and like we did i would actually start in the bathroom so i'm gonna jump right into the video and bring you into my shower which is the first place that we actually made these swaps so i'm gonna turn you around over here into our shower our unrenovated handicap shower the previous owners were handicapped they were elderly so this is a handicap shower that we've just not gutted and renovated yet very first swap we made in our home which was our shampoo so i used to have five to ten bottles of body products in my shower growing up and it's just not necessary it's so much chemical and fragrance getting onto our body lathering onto our body on the daily so shampoo I have tried several, several, several different non-toxic shampoos in my non-toxic journey to beauty products, health products, just everything, but this is by far my all-time favorite. This is Under Luna, not sponsored in any way by any of these products. I'm just truly sharing with y'all what we absolutely love. So Under Luna is a woman-founded company. She makes all of these products in small batches, handmade. All of the products are clean enough to eat. I wouldn't recommend eating them because they're not going to taste the best, but they're safe enough to eat, so they're safe enough to put on our bodies. The ingredients in here are not going to strip your hair of its natural oils, which is what conventional shampoos and conditioners do, which is why a lot of times you have to continually wash your hair over and over because it's stripping it of those oils that your body, your hair needs to create healthy, clean, luscious looking hair. And when you're stripping it with those conventional soaps and shampoos and conditioners on the daily or several times a week, we, we aren't going to have the healthiest hair, not to mention the chemicals that are being lathered into our body, soaking into our skin when we are using those products. Under Luna is phenomenal, all safe ingredients, handmade. I love supporting small companies like that. The other option that we use for shampoo, but we also use for body wash, is Alivia. This is actually not a soap. Neither one of these are technically soaps. They're more oil-based, so we're not stripping our body of the oils that we need. So Alivia is amazing for a body wash. It's also great for your hair. You can use, your, use it on your face. You can use it to shave your legs. Another phenomenal product. But this is an oil-based, coconut oil-based cleanser. It is not a soap. So little sad story on soap. Soap is actually not necessary for our bodies. Our marketing schemes these days have convinced us that soap is necessary for us to get our bodies clean. But soap was originally created for people in the day that needed to truly scrub off dirt and debris and soot from the coal mine or wherever they were, dynamite dust, um, mud from the farm, dirt, soil from when they were digging in the dirt. 
people back in the day what truly needed to scrub this off and yes there are people that still need to do that today when you have literally been working in the yard and you have mud caked onto you you made a little, a little bit of soap a good soap to get that off but most of us in today's society are just going back and forth to work to the gym to the grocery store to a friend's house we're not getting dirty yes we may sweat a little bit but i can guarantee you that sweat is going to rinse right off with a water or a healthier oil-based cleanser instead of stripping our bodies every day with soap and we strip our body with soaps every single day we're causing more issues to occur dry skin other skin issues just dull looking flat skin because we're stripping our body of those natural oils that they need on the daily um, when we use soap every day so i actually don't even use soap every day i use olivia about two or three times a week just to kind of i do like the smell of it it smells great and that's a lot of people's issue is squishy from soap they still want that light they still want that smell when they get out of the shower this is a great alternative if you still think you need that soapy lathery feeling i have not convinced my husband yet on this one he will use olivia but he's still a really big bar soap guy he loves the smell we do use safer healthier alternatives for soap but they still are a soap and i tell him all the time that if he would quit using so much soap he would probably have less dry skin he gets really really dry skin and it's just not something i've been able to convince him of yet but if you're willing to listen and you have dry skin and you want to try to help that maybe cut back on the soap completely or switch to an oil-based cleanser like Olivia. Here are the last four things in here. I have an apple cider vinegar hair mask in here. I have coconut oil. These are just two simple homemade natural swaps that I use in my home. Coconut oil is how I shave my legs and wash my face and when I need to remove eye makeup. Coconut oil will not burn your eyes. It will not hurt your skin. It's actually very nourishing for your skin. So I always just keep a little bit of coconut oil in our shower for that. Also, it's great to shave your legs. I actually need to refill this now. This is an apple cider vinegar hair rinse. So there are hair masks that you can buy. There are safe hair masks that you can buy, but a very cheap option, option for a hair mask is an apple cider vinegar rinse. So this is just five parts apple cider vinegar, one part water. I keep it in this little spray bottle. Let me get two hands for this. I will lather it in my hair like this, spray it all over, and then kind of just rub it in my hair, grab my hair, ball it up, Ooh, lovely. When it's wet, it will stay like this. Wow, y'all. Ball in a little knot and then just spray some more around my ends. And this is the most hydrating, nourishing thing for your hair. Um, I totally just wrecked my styled hair for that. So apple cider vinegar is great for dry hair if you're dealing with some hair loss, some dry scalp. It's just apple cider vinegar is like a miracle worker in itself so why wouldn't it work great for your hair it also just kind of gives you a shine very 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 cheap hair rinse i also sometimes use egg whites with jojoba oil which i'll talk about in just a minute so these two things are just some homemade things that we keep in the shower last two loofahs so loofahs are something that we used to go through one or two a month because those cheap plastic loofahs um if you scrub pretty hard with them they just pretty much disintegrate and fall apart so we have two different types in here this is a loofah sponge loofahs are actually grown if you if you knew like a true loofah is grown from the earth that's what this is it's actually here's what they look like when you first purchase them they come in a pack of three you see we haven't even opened the other two they come really flat like this and then once you wet them and use them, they turn into this. This is the best scrubbing loofah I've ever tried. This we have had for like six months already and it's still in perfect condition. We haven't even broken out the other two. So highly recommend this loofah if for any other reason it's less wasteful than those plastic loofahs. It's also much better for your skin, the environment. It's a very, very good exfoliator. It's soft, but it also exfoliates your skin really well. So we love these loofahs. And then this one is more of an exfoliating mitt. My husband does not use this one. He says this one feels like sandpaper, but I absolutely love it for removing dead skin cells and exfoliating, especially if I'm gonna do a little bit of self tanning. It's just a really strong exfoliating mitt. Um, it holds up really well. Also, highly recommend both of these as alternatives for the traditional plastic loofahs that most people still use. They're a dollar, those cheapo loofahs, but they are not even worth a dollar for the time that they use. These are very, very, very inexpensive. I'll have all this linked down below for y'all. That's our shower. So our shower is very, very, very minimal. We don't keep a lot of things in there. I absolutely love how minimal our shower is. When I was growing up, like I said, we had at least five to 10 bottles of products in our shower between my sister and I. Okay, moving on to this cute little cabinet I have behind y'all. This is kind of my skincare area. So I'll just quickly take y'all through this. 
have some jojoba oil. This is um, great for hair masks. I don't use this on the daily, but if I want to do a hair mask before the shower, not in the shower, I do the apple cider vinegar hair mask in the shower. I forgot to mention, y'all, I leave it in my hair for five minutes and then went, rinse and wash as normal. Um, but if I want to do a hair mask before I get in the shower, I will use some jojoba oil mixed with egg whites. I don't have egg whites in here, obviously, because those need to be refrigerated. But if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I drink lots of Yolki drinks. So I have tons of egg yolks that I'm eating throughout the week, but I don't want to just discard the whites. So what I do is usually save the egg whites to use in a hair rinse. I mix a little bit of egg whites, or probably about half a cup, with a few drops of jojoba oil, rub it all in my hair, put a towel over my head because it is going to be kind of drippy from the egg whites, and then leave it in for 15 or 20 minutes, and then we'll get in the shower and wash my hair as normal. So jojoba oil is great to nourish your hair along with those egg whites. I have these two products from an amazing skincare line, Forever Healthy Hair. It is created by a husband and wife partner team. Their little small shop is also phenomenal for products. So from them, right now, I want to expand my product line from them. But for now, I only have these two products. I have their Pearl Powder and their Progest Plus. This is a progesterone topical cream. Progesterone actually means for pregnancy. But you can use this not in pregnancy. So they have their description is going to be much better than my description. So I will link down below their full informational facts on both of these products. But basically, progesterone is necessary in our body. Our, as I was mentioning earlier, our body is so overloaded with toxins, which creates excess estrogen in our body. And it leaves estrogen unbalanced with progesterone. So when you use something like this, a topical treatment, I usually use about three drops a day just to kind of keep that estrogen and progesterone balanced because when they're not balanced to the correct ratio, I think the ratio is actually like 10 to 1. So you do need more estrogen than progesterone, but it's more like this. And in most people, it's like this because the estrogen overload in our bodies is so, so high because of that toxic overload, as I've been mentioning. And as you diminish these products in your home, you will kind of diminish that estrogen overload. But sad note on that, progesterone is great to kind of help keep that balanced ratio. Super simple to use. Pearl powder is something pretty new to me within the last five months, but this is an ancient like Chinese remedy. All these other cultures knew what they were doing, and now in America, we've just forgotten all these things, and we have so many problems that have arise. We should really, should really take note on what these ancient cultures do and what some of these cultures around the world still do today. So pearl powder is basically just ground up pearls. It is phenomenal for skin health, reducing skin blemishes. That's one of the things I've been trying to use the last months to help reduce my acne scarring. I have some really bad acne scarring from my teen years because I did not know all of this and I had really bad acne. I didn't have balanced estrogen levels and just toxic overload, which is another culprit of the reason many people have acne, especially in the teen years, going through those puberty and those hormones are just not leveled out. So, side note, I had very bad acne as a teen. I was not a very healthy teen in the toxic health realm. But as I was saying, pearl powder helps diminish um, skin blemishes, skin discoloration, just creates an overall glowing, healthy looking skin. This one's phenomenal. You can also ingest this with a little bit of honey for even added more benefits for your skin. These are more or less um, like products to use with your skincare. This is just a jade roller. It feels phenomenal on the skin to use before you put on product. It helps your product go in better. It's also really cooling if you have any sort of blemish or breakout. This is great to kind of relax that and help it go down. Dry brush is great if you know anything about dry brushing. brushing there are so many benefits in this as well. Improve circulation, decrease cellulite, just overall glowing, healthier skin. I use this a lot on my legs and my arms. I use it on my belly some as well. This is a magnesium spray. Magnesium is a mineral that many of us are deficient in, and it's a very relaxing mineral that we need in our bodies. And we take a magnesium supplement, but before bed, a magnesium spray is wonderful to help aid in sleep. It relaxes the body. I'm just kind of spraying on my face, my body, my arms, wherever I just feel like it, it's not going to hurt. You're going to get the benefits from it wherever. This last thing is whipped tallow. So we used to use a lot of whipped coconut oil on our skin for lotion on our face, but since learning about the benefits of tallow, this is actually kind of hard right now because it's kind of cold here. We had some really warm weather here in Mississippi and this last two days have been super cold, super dreary. So all of my oils and stuff have hardened back up in their room temperature when it gets colder. So whipped tallow is phenomenal to rub on your face. Tallow is a the fat from a, a cow. 
and it's just so so nourishing to our skin um, this is pretty much my facial moisturizer the beef tallow um, we just buy it and then I whip it in my mixer with just a tad bit of coconut oil and get it kind of a fluffy texture so it doesn't look that fluffy now like I said it's kind of hardened from being in this cooler temperature but you just kind of take a little bit in your hands rub it together until it kind of solidifies kind of like coconut oil it just takes a little more time to solidify and I find coconut oil is a lot more staining to clothing than tallow we also use shea butter so then just kind of rub it in it feels so good so nourishing um, just a really good hydrating skin topical cream moving on over here to our bathroom drawer we have a very small like I said this is not technically a master bathroom this is just the bathroom that we have we make it into our master bathroom so we have this one little drawer with it's like six inches wide with a few things in here um, so I want to show you our toothpaste this is a healthier option it does not have fluoride most toothpaste have fluoride I actually touched on this in my last healthy swaps video so if you want to hear a little more about our toothpaste and this swap I'll link that one down below for y'all but I also make a homemade whitening toothpaste so all this is is a mixture of coconut oil baking soda for whitening and then just whip it together again into a paste and it does not taste the best so it's actually good to kind of mix with the regular toothpaste but it's great at whitening so if you're switching from like a fluoride toothpaste which side note is not good for the body dentists still recommend fluoride and i just don't know why because it's just very toxic we go to great effects to remove fluoride from our water why would we want to put back into our bodies in the form of toothpaste or at the dentist office this is a great whitening toothpaste if you're removing fluoride you may be worried about keeping your teeth white but this is a great option to do that also a tongue scraper this is um one that many people don't know about but our tongues at night hoard and hold a lot of bacteria so in the morning when i wake up i just quickly go over my tongue like this this is great for removing all that funk off your tongue in the morning so that you don't drink it with your first sip of water or swallow it when you eat your breakfast um just removing that bacteria from your mouth very very important moving on to our last area our little shelves over here so turn you on one more time hairspray hairspray is a big one first of all aerosol cans are toxic in themselves stay away from aerosol cans and then there's just lots of chemicals added to hairsprays that are not good for us this is a safe hairspray on um, the safest that i've found it might not be perfect but it's definitely safer than a lot of the other ones that i have looked into i don't use a lot of hairspray but if i want just a little bit of hold in my hair like if i add a little curl use just a little bit of this um i also use in my son's hair he just got his first haircut so we've actually had to start somewhat styling his hair and this has been great not to put all those harmful gels with so many fragrances and chemicals in them on our two-year-old child. This is our block of shea butter. I mentioned this in my other video. This is covered in hair and I use it, it just kind of, my hair sticks to it. But this is another one great for nourishing the skin. I used to use this on my face a lot before I started using the tallow. Now I use this mostly on my legs, um, foot, feet, just to kind of soften those areas. Great alternative for the typical bath and body perfume fragrance lotions and all those all those things that are marketed to us today that are, that we think are smelling us smell good but they're actually putting so much harm onto our bodies into our bodies our skin our biggest is our biggest organ is soaking up every little thing we're putting on it so lotion is a big one um that was a big one for me when i first switched to a non-toxic lifestyle um in the bathroom area um i had every fragrance of bath and body sweet pea um coconut lime verbena i'm telling you all my age here these are like all the 2000s and 2000s scents um i can't even think of any more let me know down below what was your favorite bath and body scent growing up Oops, some of y'all have switched from the bath and body now if i even walk by bath and body in the stores i get a headache so anyways bath and body used to be my jam i used to use it all i think my mom might still use it some of it i've been working on her actually i think she's gotten rid of most of hers i have been working for her a lot on switching out some of those things but let me know if you were a bath and body fan and what your favorite scent was back in the day i think mine would have to have been sweet pea or that vanilla vanilla something I don't know it was vanilla something anyways now i don't use those things i don't really use a lot of scents anymore i just use natural scents this just smells really clean and natural this is just a big block of shea butter it's like 12 dollars. this thing lasts us six months to a year very very much very much so cheaper than bath and body and very much so healthier than the bath and body 
And last but not least, makeup. I am not a big makeup person at all. And I definitely would not call myself a beauty guru. A lot of times I don't even wear makeup unless I'm going to film a little video like today. And I barely have on any at all. I don't even usually wear the makeup in my vlogs if you've seen any of those. But makeup is another one that we lather that on our face daily. Many women wear makeup daily, which is great. Makeup is meant to enhance your beauty. Some women live by it. That's totally fine. That's women's own opinion. Just switching things here and there is going to make so much difference over time. Even the little switches are going to add up over time. So eyeshadow, I used to be a big naked fan, naked palette fan. Naked, I had naked one, naked two, naked three. I had all the naked palettes. Beauty counter is very, very similar to the naked palette. Looks very similar. The shades are just as beautiful as those naked colors were, but very safe ingredients again. They're not going to build up and soak into your skin and put harmful chemicals into your body. Also from Beauty Counter, I have this, I don't even know what this is called, cream blusher. I don't use this one very much. This can be used as an eyeshadow as well as a blush. I'm not a Beauty Counter representative, but I will link below my favorite Beauty Counter person that I get this stuff from who's not like a pushy person with it but if you just want to support somebody that I, that I support I'll link her information down below so you can go through her beauty counter stuff. My last beauty counter product is my foundation and instead of caking and covering your skin and not allowing anything through it actually has minerals that absorb into your skin to help your skin and help your complexion help your just overall skin appearance instead of the typical foundations that pretty much just cake onto our skin and clog up our pores. This one does not do that. Um, again, I don't know all the ins and outs of Beauty Counter. I'm not a salesperson for them, but I just love their products. So this is the foundation I use. I use literally only use a drop of this. A little bit goes such a long way for me. Powder bronzer. I actually make this myself. So this is just a mixture of arrowroot powder and cacao powder. This is kind of just like a setting powder or to give me a little bit of color. Just another very, very, very economical but also safe way to have makeup. This is just as good as normal powders that you buy that are filled with all the crap, as I've said over and over in this video. Almost at the end of this, y'all, I'm telling y'all, my makeup bag is very slim. I have mascara as well as some eyebrow gel, whatever you want to call it. I also added, so this is just a clear eyebrow gel. This is actually just, I believe, castor oil. Um, castor oil helps with hair growth. Also, good nutrition helps with hair growth. High metabolism helps with hair growth. But castor oil is one of those like minerals that is kind of promoted for hair growth, and I used to just believe by it. So I still had some. This is just castor oil, and I added a little bit of my bronzer color to give that little bit of brown tint to add to my eyebrows. I don't have good eyebrows, y'all. I wish I had beautiful, luscious eyebrows. That's another thing I'm working on is learning to rebuild my metabolism properly, nourish my body properly, and hair growth is a side effect of all that. So I'm hoping my eyebrows will slowly fill back in from all the years I spent plucking them and not treating my eyebrows well. But I need all the help I can get. So I use just a little bit of this, kind of tinted, just to kind of fill in my eyebrows. I also will sometimes use a tad bit of beauty counter eyeshadow to kind of fill them in as well. Again, I'm not a beauty guru, y'all. Don't take my beauty advice. I'm just trying to give you swaps for the products that you use yourself. Um, ash mascara. Mascara, this is a one that I probably need to go ahead and reorder. This is just some from Thrive. It's like a side business from Thrive Market. I, I've talked about Thrive Market groceries a ton on this channel, but it's like their beauty side of it. Thrive Cosmetics. So, this is a mascara I use. It's great, safe. The mascara is a hard one to find in a natural version. I went through several and just was not pleased with the effect that it gave. Actually, my I need some more of this because this is almost gone. This is not giving the full effect of the eyelashes that it's supposed to give you. It gives really full luscious eyelashes, which is what I'm always going for. I don't have the most, the longest, darkest eyelashes, so this is a good one for that. A few makeup brushes and an eyelash curler, and that's it, y'all. My makeup is very, 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 very minimal. Literally, I can hold it all in one hand. This is it, y'all. Everything that I have in my makeup bag right here. All non-toxic, all safe. There's no crazy smells, textures, chemicals being laden on my skin when I wear makeup. I um, highly suggest you start looking into these swaps if you are having some health issues and want to start making these swaps. Alright y'all, I feel like this video was a little bit on the longer side, but I get so passionate about this stuff. This is one of the main reasons I wanted to start making YouTube videos and sharing this type of content because I'm so passionate about non-toxic living and helping people make these swaps 
because it truly helped me so much. We reduced acne, husband reduced his allergies. We just overall felt better. I had better skin, better hair, just better digestion, better everything when we started making these swaps. So I'm so passionate about sharing these things and hope that these videos like this where I actually show you swaps that you can make and give you examples of things that you can look into rather than the typical products you find at your local Walmart or your um, beauty stores. Um, those those items are marketed to draw you in and to give you this awesome effect and yes they may work wonderfully but there are much safer products that work just as well for you and over the last few years i've been researching these things testing these things out and everything i showed you today are things that i truly love that i've truly tried several items before i got to these items kind of doing the trial and error work behind it and I found these are the products that work great for us. I'm still learning new products daily. I'm still trying new things daily, but these are the ones that we pretty much have down that we love that we will pretty much always continue to have in our home and I hope that you found some of these helpful. I uh, wish you the best if you are trying to switch to a more non-toxic lifestyle again. I think you will see so many health benefits, so many health changes. Things that you have thought were normal your entire life when you start making these switches will kind of just slowly disappear and you'll realize they weren't actually normal the entire time. They were more or less just common. They were common but not normal um, for our bodies. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you have any other non-toxic beauty products that you use personally that you want to share with us, please let us know in the comments below. I love hearing more products from others who are kind of on the same non-toxic lifestyle journey as myself. And I just wish you the best in all of your health endeavors and hope to see you on a future video.